hi friends today we are going to see demo on how to store exception data into table using snowflake snowflake sql scripting if you have not gone through my recent blog on exception handling then i would recommend you to please have a look because i have captured more detail in my blogs let's start with demo so today for this demo i am going to create a new database called exception handling and i'm going to create a table call as log error so in this table i am going to store the data so uh, let's create a table so to store the data we have to just keep something in mind like that error code is a number field so we can store only on the number error message is a character and error state is a character as well so we have to create keeping this data type in mind so now if i refresh on the left hand side you can see that log table is already created all right now the, i'm just going to create a procedure using sql scripting so this will give you an insight of the very first procedure how to create a procedure using sql scripting and then how to raise the exception and how to store the store the exception in a table as well as how to raise an exception so uh, creating a procedure is normal as like uh, earlier you have seen create or replace procedure and then i am just passing a boolean parameter so there is no change return number or a character whatever you want the only change is like earlier we used to write language equal to javascript now we have to use language equal to sql so this is a new enhancement recently which will help you to write the code in sql rather than javascript so this is very a powerful enhancement done by the snowflake team and uh, this really helps because uh, being a code database guy and working on lots of uh, relational database i'm more attached to sql rather than javascript so it was a hard time for me to learn the javascript and then work on javascript still i was working on javascript but i was not comfortable as i am comfortable in sql so for me it's a win win situation and i really like this announcement done by snowflake and code are more or less similar to uh, uh, all the recent like all the major sql uh, databases previously on premises so uh, i would like to relate it more to the oracles because i am from more from the oracle background i feel like more or less everything is similar to oracle database so it was very easy for me to grasp everything just few minor changes which you need to keep in mind uh, these are the special mark we have to mention as start and end this will make sure that you are starting your sql scripting code you have to write the declare and then to declare the exception you have to write that exception name as a custom variable and then exception under that you have to write the error code which can range from uh, minus 2000 to minus 2999 just like uh, sql server uh, so just like oracle we had uh, for more detail you have to read my blog there i have mentioned what all uh, range are bit for exception for custom exception and then this is a name of the exception or the message of the exception sorry not the name it's a message of the exception what you want to showcase uh, when the, this exception is being raised and then it, this is just declaring a variable and then i'm mentioning over here if this variable which i am passing from as a parameter is true then raise the exception just to make the life easy and to specifically uh, raise the exception on my on my demand and then is this is just uh, an extra code which doesn't mean much for this code uh, for this procedure and then return the count so obviously always it will be like uh, count 0 plus 1 will be always be 1 and then if, if in case i pass true it should raise the dummy exception and it should insert the data into the exception handle table and then return the same exception on the screen and this is other type of exception when you want when you don't find any other exception it will go under the other section so just like in oracle when others when others then raise exception right so it, it is similar like when dummy exception is my custom exception and if this this is not raised it will go into the other section and it will do the same stuff and then end and then i am closing this stuff. so i am just going to create this exception uh, procedure 
so just to summarize i am creating a procedure which is having a boolean variable if it's true it will raise the exception if it's uh, if it's uh, false it will not raise the exception second thing is written on the uh, sql scripting language and i'm i'm going to raise the uh, dummy exception based on the boolean parameter now this is the call of the procedure just like uh, uh, earlier uh, procedure call there is no uh, difference on the calling pattern so we will use the call keyword and then the procedure name and if i pass false it will return me uh, one value because here we have written like count equal to count plus one so for first execution it is always zero plus one that means it will always return one so let's see so you can see that the value is one now I intentionally want to raise the exception and I want to store the data into the exception table, right? So what I'm going to do here is like, um, I'm just going to copy it here, copy the name of the table and just wanted to show you before I execute anything. I will just do select star from this log error table. You will see that the table is blank and now I am going to execute this procedure. And you will see that now I can see the uh, error message on the screen as well as if I go and execute this select statement I will see the data is being stored on the table list. so source was main exception because I for the dummy exception I kept the source type as main exception so it went into the dummy exception because it was custom exception raised by me and then it, it also stored all the exception code error message and the error state which we just show on the return value as well now this is the example how you can create means like uh, write the procedure in which you can raise the exception the same thing you can also achieve in the nms block like you are not you don't want to create a procedure rather than you want to just create a uh, sql block physical block and you want to raise the exception like this so you can also achieve the same thing like in this way so here you the only difference is like you don't have to write the top part of that so you don't have to write this part you have to start with the dollar dollar sign so to execute the anonymous block you have to use the execute immediate keyword and then all your code should decide with me dollar dollar so rest everything is same so i have just tried to <coughs> sorry modified the code a bit i intentionally marked the boolean variable to false because i don't want to raise the custom exception i want to raise the other exception so how can we do that so similarly this code will never execute based on this nms block because i am passing the false condition it will never get true and it will never went inside this dummy exception and raise the dummy exception here i have just tried to divide one by zero which is like a kind of an exception zero by divide error since we have not captured uh, anything for this here or not raised any concern, uh, custom exception for this scenario, it will go to the other section and insert the value with other exception. So here we don't have to call any procedure. We can directly execute this statement. This is not going to store in a database and just execute once. So if I execute this, you can see on the screen, I got the error message and uh, error is divis division by zero and sql is 22012 and now if i go and execute the select statement of the table you will see that uh, here also the other exception get inserted so this is how you can execute and there is the custom error and also store the custom error so this is one of the important thing uh, which people are looking for and i got a couple of uh, queries about this how to store the exception data into the table and uh, I wanted to create a video out of this. So here it is. So hope you like this demo. And if you like the demo, please subscribe to my channel and uh, my blog. Thank you.